Welcome to This Week in Orthodoxy, the world's only online video newscast focused on events in the life of the Orthodox Church. I'm Emmy Luveris. These are some of the stories making headlines this week. Metropolitan Calisto Swear speaks at North Park University on the unchanging gospel in an ever-changing culture. Relics of St. Anthony the Roman discovered and identified in Veliki Novgorod. The Pan-Orthodox Council to take decisions only upon consent of all patriarchs. And congratulations to our own Dr. Vladimir Morrison, who produced the score for Rachmaninoff's Night Vigil, this year's Grammy Award recipient for Best Choral Performance. First up, Metropolitan Calisto Ware of the Oclea will speak at the inaugural event in engaging Orthodoxy speakers at North Park University's Anderson Chapel in Chicago on Saturday, March the 5th. The event is a free two-part lecture followed by responses from other theologians. Orthodoxy is on the cusp of a major theological renaissance in the 21st century, and this series will explore Orthodox theology as a vital religious force in American life and thought. In this two-part lecture, Metropolitan Calistos will present an Eastern Orthodox understanding of the Gospel and offer practical guidance on how local churches may keep it clear and central for each generation. Also known by his lay name, Timothy Ware, Metropolitan Calistos is a titular Metropolitan of the Ecumenical Patriarchate in Great Britain. From 1966 to 2001, he was Spalding Lecturer of Eastern Orthodox Studies at Oxford University and has authored numerous books and articles pertaining to the Orthodox Christian faith and Orthodoxy's relationship to broader culture, including the sciences. Attendees will have the opportunity to participate in a question and answer session with Metropolitan Calistos and other participants during the event. Dr. Bradley Nassif, Professor of Biblical and Theological Studies at North Park University, will moderate the conference sessions. For more information on the event, log on to northpark.edu. And next up, the relics of Venerable Anthony the Roman, who lived about 900 years ago, have been found and identified in Russia, this according to a report from Interfax Religion. The saints' miracle-working relics in the precious shrine were kept at the Nativity Cathedral of St. Anthony's Monastery until the Russian Revolution. During the Soviet anti-religious campaign in 1927, the shrine was opened and the relics moved to the Anti-Religious Museum, located at the St. Sophia Cathedral of the Veliki Novgorod Kremlin. There, St. Anthony's relics were considered lost, among other objects. According to tradition, St. Anthony, a Roman citizen, miraculously sailed on a stone from Rome to Veliki Novgorod by the river Volkov in 1106. His stone still exists. In the same year, St. Anthony founded the Nativity Monastery, one of the oldest surviving monasteries in Russia to date. About 20 years ago, the complex examination of relics began where St. Anthony's relics had been singled out. With historical and anthropological examinations completed, the relics of St. Anthony the Roman were handed over to Metropolitan Lev of Novgorod, who will decide their fate. And next, the upcoming Holy and Great Council of the Orthodox Church, due to convene on the island of Crete this summer, will endorse decisions only upon consent of all the 14 patriarchs of canonical national Orthodox churches. Preliminary reports indicate the Council will be held in a fraternal atmosphere, enabling discussion and decisions made by consensus. Likely to become a milestone event for the entire Orthodox world, efforts to prepare the Pan-Orthodox Council started as far back as 1961 and have been proceeding with certain intervals ever since. Each national Orthodox Church will send 24 bishops to the Council. And in news from OCN, congratulations to our own Dr. Vladimir Morrison, Program Director for OCN's Rudder, who was the producer of Rachmaninoff's All Night Vigil, recipient of this year's Grammy Award for Best Choral Performance by the Kansas City and Phoenix Chorals Artistic Director, Charles Bruffy. 
Dr. Morrison and his wife are the directors of our 24-7 internet radio station, The Rudder, providing orthodox sacred music throughout the world. He is also the founder of Musica Rusica, the largest publisher of Russian choral music outside of Russia. On the recent award, Morrison congratulated Charles Bruffy and the Kansas City and Phoenix Choral, saying for the third time in the last the 10 years, too. recordings of Russian Orthodox sacred music Rock have Monino. won Grammys. We are thrilled that choral artists are bringing this music to life, using our additions and making the world a more beautiful place. And OCN brings you another way to share the beauty of orthodoxy with the world using Spark, the latest downloadable OCN app. An Orthodox Christian news portal, OCN Spark provides information about events going on in the Orthodox Christian world and persecuted Christians everywhere. The app makes it easy to share news and articles with friends and allows you to make prayer requests for those who are suffering. Visit myocn.net to easily download OCN Spark from iTunes. Much like public radio and TV, the Orthodox Christian Network relies on support from its viewers, listeners, and myocn.net visitors like you. In honor of OCN's 20th anniversary, anonymous donors have issued a $20,000 matching challenge. For every dollar you give, $2 will be donated. Be a part of our growth and make a contribution today where your donation can be doubled for a limited time. And remember, you can access the many breaking stories, blogs, podcasts, and videos available on the latest topics of interest on myocn.net, on Facebook, or watch us on our YouTube OCN video channel. That brings another edition of This Week in Orthodoxy to a close. For everyone here in our OCN studios, I'm Emmy Rivera's Let's go forth in peace.